Hey everyone and welcome to a tutorial. Today it is all about albino animals and how to get them. Uh, I didn't meant to be uh, sitting here and doing this, uh, this uh, tutorial because um, I, I didn't really plan because I thought it was obvious. However, I got so many questions in the last couple of days and I think it's mainly because of the Black Panther uh, that this question came up popping so often. Um, so today here is a little tips and tricks video how to get them. So we're starting in franchise mode because franchise mode is potentially the one which is a little bit easier to get them uh, than in sandbox. I'm gonna talk about this in a while. You know, we are here in franchise mode. This is my franchise zoo. You can see it's quite um, quite done already. So there's quite a lot of uh, stuff already happened. And you can see this is my West African lion habitat. And as you can see, there are a lot of albino lioness. And also we have the, the big boss. Where's the big boss? There's the big boss. He's also a albino lion. As you can see, this one, Rudo, um, he is um, already uh, 4.2 years old, so that's kind of a young one, and you can see this one is nearly maxed out, so 100% fatality, really good, really high appeal, and um, it has some, some mates in here. But I also wanted to show you, um, I got this one from the market, so I didn't breed it myself, I got it from the market and I prepared it already. You go to the animal market and you set the filters to lions and you can see there is already, you can see there is one for 10,000, but honestly, they are already sold for lower than that. So let me just go to the lowest price. I also have the Jaguars in. There you can see, you can already get a West African lion albino version, um, which is still young enough to breed and it has fatality for 400 leaf points. So that would be the way you are going. You would just purchase a albino animal. You're trying to get both, obviously, a female and the male to increase the chances of getting uh, albino babies. And you know, if you've got both, um, then it makes the whole thing more easy. Now let's change uh, the species and just like uh, de-check the West African line and see what's going on with the jacks. And you can see there are some jacks already on the market, but I assume that there is not yet a black one available because they are quite rare. Um, and I'm not sure if people already did. Now I can see they're all 10,000 by the way, so very expensive indeed. Is there actually one more? Uh, cheap one uh, quite a few cheap ones available so it's it's not like wait a second i might want to save this for me quickly because uh i have the money and they have some some great stats so okay i'm, I'm already saved them for me <laughs> uh, i got the money so why not i got uh, gotta save these two i should Oh well, I could have also gotten that one, but it doesn't really matter too much. I got them uh, now safe for this one. But this is how you do this in um, franchise mode. You basically want to go to the uh, market and try to get for, uh, go for some albinos because, because potentially people have already done the work for you guys, so you don't need to do this. Um, if you scroll through the market anyhow, you will always find albino animals uh, within the animal uh, species available. It's, we can, you know, let's just check. Let's just check uh, some of them. Let's see if we get some mandrels. I don't even know if not every animal has a um, albino version. So I'm not sure if we will find a mandrel here. But if the animals do have a certain uh, albino version, you will definitely find it in here. And uh, you can purchase that one and then start breeding with the one. This is how you do this in franchise. I mean, there is another option, but it's quite complicated. And I'm going to explain in the next step of this video why it is exp uh, very kind of complicated and why you would definitely want to go first of all to this um, uh, market version that I explained just uh, as, as of now. Now let's jump over to the next part. All right, we are back in the main menu. The reason for this is I want to explain first of all why it is important to know one specific thing about sandbox. So you want to have albino animals in your sandbox park. And it is quite important to notice that you cannot transfer animals between your sandbox parks. So it's not like in franchise because in franchise, if you have one albino animal in one of your franchise zoos, you can put it always in your um, transfer center or in the animal center and you will be able to have it available in any other of your franchise zoos. So as soon as you have one, you have it everywhere. Okay, so that's easy. This is unfortunately not the case in Sandbox. So you do have to really keep in mind in which zoo you really want to have your animal. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to my main project. Okay, so I'm going um, back into my main project. My main project is at the moment uh, my Yosemite Valley Zoo. I'm going to go um, into an older save though. Let me go into season one because I don't want to show you the progress as of now. Um, 
All right, so we are in my main zoo. This is Yosemite Valley Zoo. And uh, we are in this zoo because of several reasons to explain. So as I said, keep in mind that we are in a zoo that has is dedicated to this sandbox file, okay? So whatever you do in this zoo is only available in this exact save. So if you are doing this in an older save, for example, you won't have it in your newer save. You have to do it in your newest save and you have to do it for this specific project. In case you want to have this albino animal or the melanistic animal in another, you have to do what I'm going to show you now in another zoo. But before we do, make sure to go to the settings and do the following. You go to the animal settings and then make sure to click all these boxes in here. Definitely check this one, disable the animal welfare, disable the inspections because it's only annoying and also you have to disable everything else except this one. You have to keep disable animal aging and births dechecked, mainly because you want animals to breed and grow and get new babies, okay? So I'm gonna apply this for now. I will pause the game now because we have one issue and this issue is I've got, you know, I've, I've already played uh, uh, quite a few hours in the zoo so we have a lot of animals we have a lot of animals and the main problem now is that all these animals would now start to breed like crazy what you have to do it's very unfortunate it's a little bit of work and um, there is unfortunately not really a way to select all of them um, but what you want to do is you want to just check all of your animals i mean you could also uh, you know what's way more easy. Let's do it. E let's do it a bit more easy. Okay, make sure to uh, sort them by sex and then you're going to give them contraceptives to all of these animals. It's important that you just click all of them. You can you can now just click that and then there you go. Um, and uh, you, you want to make sure that you go for all the males because then you don't need to care about the females anymore. You also have to check that no one is pregnant because that would be a risk as well because that one that is pregnant... Oh, we already passed all the males so we can decheck check the females here. I mean it's even more safe when you give it to everyone. Um, all right, so let's let's quickly check if everyone have the contraceptives. Yes. Now we have to check that none of our girl is okay. See, that's a problem. She is pregnant. So what we're gonna do with this one? We cannot release it to the wild, unfortunately. So what we're gonna do is we can just go here and here. Let's go back to our bonobo. And our bonobo is actually um, our inside joke. So this is actually another little problem here. So where? is the bonobo there we go so maggie b is pregnant what would happen now is the following it will kind of kind of give birth and in the in the worst case it's going to be a male they start to inbreed and we're going to get babies they start to inbreed so that's going to be a freaking disaster okay so what we're going to do is we send this one to trade center and say move and in the trade center it's all safe you could now argue, why am I not sending everyone to the trade center? Well, obviously because the trade center is full and then you cannot do anything, okay? So this is all set up. What you need to do now is very, very simple. You just go in and you create, I don't know, it, it doesn't really matter how exactly you create this, but I would kind of recommend to, to build a very simple, you know, what we, it's, it's very simple. Just build uh, a few staff rooms, make sure that you have some like three or something, it doesn't matter, you don't need that many, but I'm just, I just like to slap some down. So three of the keeper huts and make also sure to put a trade center close by. There we go. And also make sure that you follow these steps and don't do anything else because it's gonna drive you crazy. I, I promise you, it's gonna drive you crazy. You're gonna make sure that you have paths connected everywhere here so that all the buildings are connected. Pretty simply like that. Is this connected? Yes, it is. It doesn't matter. It does not really matter which path or whatever you have. So what you need then is you need some staff members. I would recommend to only put some keepers down. Uh, there you go. So that it's kind of enough. You don't even need that many. And I would then also uh, put down a few caretakers to do your transport things. And that is about it. Okay, this is about it. Not more. You don't need more. What you need to do next is, um, it doesn't really matter how many pens you will have, but I would recommend to go with like three or something. So what you're gonna do is you build like three pens um, for the animals, like very simple, okay? Just do it like that. There we go. And then just connect this here, panel too long, oh no, whatever. So it does not need to be looking any good, okay? It's, it's completely, it's totally irrelevant uh, how it looks. So the only, only thing that is relevant is that you have um, can, hello, can I just please? Okay, there we go. 
The only thing that is somehow relevant is that you can kind of, uh, have three or maybe four. You can you can have as many as you want, but I would recommend not to do too many uh, because that will definitely uh, make your game even more laggy in, in, in kind of a few minutes. So that's, that's not what you want. So let's kind of check this in here, put down a few doors, make sure that they connect. One, two, and a three. And then I would recommend to only give what they need. And this, you basically only need to give them drinks. This is the only thing that you need because you disabled everything, okay? So you disabled everything. Uh, it doesn't matter what you have. Just plop down some of these things. There we go. It doesn't matter how many, okay? So this is what you've done. This is what you needed to do. This is already the basic setup. And now you just go for the animal that you want to go for. And I want to say, I'm not sure if there's an albino West African lowland gorilla, but I want to test this, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna adopt that one and female and male and the female refresh. And I get another female, another male another male, another female, refresh the list, a female, I'm gonna go only for females now because I'm gonna show you why. So make sure to always have a male and a few females uh, because the females are the ones that get pregnant. So you don't also need to check any of the, I mean, you should check the fertility though, but this is the only thing you need to look at. So make sure that the fertility is at least 33%, obviously 70%, see, that's, that's one we don't need to use. Okay, so this is, this is what you need. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna see, okay, this is the one we don't need, confirm. I'm gonna check, um, I'm gonna check like three females, send them in the first pen. Then I'm gonna check the next three into this pen. And I think we have another three, right? Oops, it just kind of refreshed. One, two, three. This one doesn't and send this in the third one, okay? So this is done. And now what you do, you take your males. 33% uh, is fine, okay, take that one here. This one, 83 is fine, take it here. And now let's see, go for the last one. 70%, that is not good. So I, I got another one. So this is, oh, 0%. Uh, doesn't mean we need another male, right? Okay, let's let's go for another male. That is at least a bit better. That one is good. Send to zoo and put it in the third one, okay? So this is everything you needed to do because now you set up your breeding farms, okay? It's morally and ethically the worst thing to do, but it's only for the sake of, you know, having that. Mechanic, blah, blah, blah. Okay, no mechanic can get here. Don't worry, just completely ignore that because you can have one more setting I would highly recommend is the economy setting. And then you disable also the barrier deplication. Uh, uh, dilapidation, that's what it is. Got wrong, wrong word there. Um, to make sure that your barriers are not gonna crash. Okay, and everything you have to do now is speed up the game by three times and sit here and wait. Get yourself a coffee, watch a movie, watch a series, whatever you wanna do. You just have to leave it running, okay? This is everything you can do. Now, leave the game running. Your animals won't have an issue, you know? Um, the only thing is they potentially can escape. I'm not sure if the wall was high enough, the barrier. Let me just quickly check. No, they cannot. Okay, that's fine. Um, some animals can jump higher, so, okay. You don't even need to, you don't even need to care about any of the things because you have eternal welfare. The animals cannot die because you disable death. It's everything, it doesn't matter. You can sit here and wait, that's it. And so I'm gonna do something now. I'm gonna wait for, let's say two or three years now. And then I'm gonna show you how you proceed and how you can monitor if it's going to go better or not. Uh, again, I have no idea if there is an albino gorilla. So you may want to ensure before you do the animal that there is a version available because otherwise you sit there for like ever and there will nothing happen. Okay, so let's see and wait. All right, we are half an hour in and uh, not only the frame rate dropped, but also the amount of animals in our habitats increased. But as you can see, um, my pick of the Western Lowland Gorillas was as intentional as it was also meant to be showing off that there is a difference in animals. So this animal in particular has a very long time for maturity, which means it takes a while until the exponential growth starts. So at the moment we are uh, like six years further into it and you can see that uh, with all my animals if i go to maturity you can see that all of our newborn animals are still not yet mature they are about to get mature i think it's eight years um, if i'm not completely wrong let me just quickly check that um yeah it's actually may maybe even 10 years so it's taking quite a lot of time until it really starts reproducing at a higher rate but let me tell you 10 years 10 in-game years means 
you might want to start with a lot more pens for those animals that are taking longer, as you can see with the Western Lowland Gorilla. I just intentionally did this because it will help you figure out um, how many you will use. So it's easier to get that uh, while showing it off. Um, so make sure that you check how long it takes. So we can actually do this um, right in front here, Gorilla. Western wall and gorilla, and you go to species data, and you can see um, this is this is what you have here. Um, age of sexual maturity is ten freaking years. So if you go, for example, to let's say a lemur, okay, it's like a ringtail lemur, you can see three years. So it's like factor three point three. Um, and this is this is quite hefty, you know. This is really quite hefty. I think there is there are also animals that have an even shorter amount. Yeah, see the red panda, for example, 1.5 years. Again, I have no idea if the red panda is about uh, to have an albino or melanism. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, but yeah, as, as, I, as I was just saying, it takes a while. So my, my kind of guess is that it's always easier to check beforehand how long it takes and then just build this pen another time and another time and another time so that you don't spend too long because the exponential growth is also dependent on how much you have at the beginning. So the more different pens, the different uh, habitats you set up at the beginning, the quicker it goes. Um, that said, uh, it always is kind of a matter of how you tackle it. So my suggestion is to leave the game running for like, I don't know, two hours or whatever and just go away. Do something else if you can afford that because honestly sitting next to it, it's not even it's not even boring. It's like you cannot do anything else, okay? Frame rate is kind of affected because you need to uh, run the game uh, sped up and on honestly if you do something else it's even slower because frame rate might not be that great and all these kind of things. So you don't need to care about anything happening here. There's nothing that can happen the animals cannot die, there is nothing in the zoo that can go wrong because it dis disabled basically everything in the sandbox settings. Not an issue at all. But um, I just want to see uh, what happens if they are uh, all mature, then it will go even quicker. But for now, that's been it. I hope you guys found this interesting and uh, also a little bit educative, I think, uh, is the word I was looking for. Because that hopefully helps you to grow your own um, albino animal or melancholic uh, melancholic i just cannot pronounce this freaking name um but you know this other kind of dna failure of the animals but um again i i really hope you found this helpful and if there's anything else i can even improve about this if there's any little trick i didn't know um just let me know in the comments down below one more thing don't care you don't need to care about inbreeding at this point, you don't need to care because this would take so long to get an inbred animal um, or like to, to care for the animals so that there is no inbreeding going on. It just got, doesn't work because now you would need to put them all into different uh, cages and then you need to change it all the way back again and force them back. It's not possible. As soon as the exponential growth kicks in, you're done. It's not, it's not working. It's insanely crazy, I tell ya. So, don't even try, okay? Let them inbreed, and as soon as you have one, that's the that's the important point. As soon as you have one, let it breed with a new one, so that the first thing is not inbred again, and then make sure that from from there, try to go on and try to make sure you avoid inbreeding as much as possible to increase the stats if you want. But if you only go for the looks of it, and in sandbox it doesn't even matter anyways. Just keep it inbreeding. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. However, that's it guys. I really hope again that you found this helpful and now, um, yeah, I hand it over to you. Have fun in your breeding zoos and uh, make sure to, to search yourself uh, for a different kind of thing to do while your zoo is running and keeps breeding animals. Have a good time and goodbye.